Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time to It is the Raw Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here on this Monday night in the Sorgatron Media Studios in the Pittsburgh area, Beachview, PA, Radio Tech. Mo- check out Monday Night Raw. And probably the first time I've had been able to watch it, uh, the all three hours plus, uninterrupted in several weeks. And with me, who also, maybe for the first time that we consecutively, consecutively both have watched it, uh in 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 at the same time in the same amount it's mad mike from poughkeepsie new york yeah this time i'll have to mess you up by saying that seth rollins beat two people this time it's no. miss lost to two people oh, oh but still you know doing his own thing how you doing mike i i th- this was a weird raw this is a weird raw this is i feel like i feel like this is how they are impact uh, deals usually start off. Yeah, no, no, no. This was this was a weird one because I I thought we were going certain places, and it turns out we may not be going. Uh, you certain. always you always have those expectations, Mike, and I think that's what gets you in trouble in professional wrestling world. Professionally wrestling world, yes. Sorg, it's only because I'm right a lot of times. Oh, uh, I, but I won the bet. I won the bet. You did. You did. You did. Ah, oh, it's over there. Billy did leave his his ten tie bot. Uh, yes. with you, uh, it's 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 over there on the desk, Missy. Can you get the tie bot from my desk, please? Tie bot. I know you're not a producer tonight, but can you? Pl- you're also sitting. Okay, she's really comfy, so I'm not going to show the tie bot. Uh, That's okay. But anyway, yes, Missy. But, Missy. Missy is allowed to say as comfortable as she damn well pleases. There is, but my guy was towards the end, and it was looking good. Then I realized Lee was last there with uh, Roman Reigns. Uh, what's up? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. A bunch of you guys are joining us here tonight. Uh, what's up, Tina? What's up, Alex? Uh, what is up, Brandon? And everybody else that's joining us, please drop in the chat room. And there is and Wheels. Wheels ten, is there. Even though he hasn't said anything. Ten of wheels. the tie bot right there. And we did the yes. math. A reminder that mm-hmm. now, since you have Billy's tie bot, you yes. will have my tie bot, and you have your own yes. tie bot. You yes. will have... Very close to, if not over, one American dollar. Yes! Mm! Sorry, I'm going to make it rain. <laughs> you also would be very rich in, in Thailand, apparently. It, it's going to be a light shower, but I'm still going to make it rain. That is true. That is true. Hey, mm-hmm. I went with yeah. 50 bucks to Thailand, and it went a pretty long way. So, <laughs> Wow. That, right. that sounds like a different podcast. Hey! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it is Monday Night Raw. It is the Raw wrap up, and and like I said, this is the first one uh, post Elimination Chamber on the road with no more detours to WrestleMania. Well, at least for well, the no, Raw brand. At least yes. for the Raw brand, right? Yes, at least for the Raw brand. There's no more detours. There's no more speed bumps. There's no more fast lanes. There's no more roadblocks. There's no more no mercies there's no more super brawls there's no more clash of champions i'm no, gonna just keep no. saying pay-per-view names there's no none more, more uncensored no more world war threes yeah no there's no more no um, more guilty as charged no more lockdowns no more ultima luchas no more um wrestle kingdoms there's no mm-hmm. more wrestle kingdoms mm-hmm. no 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 absolutely not but anyways but yeah it, it was it was an interesting night uh let's talk about the miz you you referenced the miz um yeah he he lost two in a row but again, oh still kind of doing a bit of the Miz show um, uh, between those two matches, and I am happy with the results. I I'm confused by the results. You're not, what are you confused by? What do you think the results uh, well, mean? I, uh, well, no, I'm thinking down the line. I'm thinking down the line. I'm right. thinking what what is WrestleMania shaping up to look like? Right. Um. Are we getting a triple threat at WrestleMania? You or, better believe we're or, getting a triple threat at WrestleMania. Or 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 are we going to get a triple threat on Raw at some point before WrestleMania and Finn is going to cost Seth the match? And then we get Finn versus Seth and Miz is left on his own again. No, I'm with Travis. This is going to be a triple threat match. This is going to be the worker triple threat match for the Intercontinental title. This is going to be 
the the Kurt Angle Jericho Canadian Wrestler X uh, three way that steals the show. Okay, I have a question then. Yes. What does Braun do at WrestleMania? Braun, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. But in the meantime, this is what's happening with Elias, these three. It's not going to be Elias. No, that, the Elias uh, train is not going to be. I, I, I was the Elias really, train is going to be picking up a giant trophy at WrestleMania. I feel like, and I don't know what happened with Brock Lesnar. I know Brock was announced for tonight. I'm wondering Ooh. the reason why he was not there. <laughs> uh, Roman throwing shade at Brock Re- Lesnar, though. Hold, 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 hold on. Roman, Roman, you and I, we've had a bit of a, well, let, let's just say Facebook would say it's complicated. Okay. Um, I would like to thank you for being a fan of the Raw wrap-up, because Roman basically said the same talking points I've been saying about Brock Lesnar. He, he, he six, took your script. He took your script, Mad Mike. Roman, Roman is a Mad Mike guy. <laughs> obviously, obviously. Yes. Also, so, also Roman, does not Roman, like the thanks, wear. Thanks for the shout out. Roman the... also does not like to wear sleeves. Uh, who? Sorg. No one wears sleeves. This is true. This is professional no wrestling. One wears, yeah, no one wears sleeves these days. You're lucky if people wear pants. Yes, except for uh, that 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 one guy that that was a uh, lucha triple uh, trios champion with M Dog. Correct. Yes. 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 He wore sleeves. He definitely wore sleeves. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. In fact, the whole body suit. <laughs> <laughs> what happened with the limo? I, I I think we glitched or something. Braun went back there. A limo pulled up. Was in and, and we kind of skipped I, to the commercial. Did something I happen? Just, I just assumed it was Triple H and Stephanie. Oh, that could be. Or, that could or be. Rousey. Okay, that makes sense. That, that's what I assumed. I didn't think there was anything big about that. So we do have Braun and Elias. I'm sad because I I figured Braun was going to come out there, be mad, uh, get inserted into the Roman and Brock situation. And therefore inserted into a three-way main event at WrestleMania. No, no. Uh, if you watch Raw Talk last night, I, that there's no way anyone's being added to that match. Mm. I, I truly, I truly I do not it. believe so. I still could see it. I, 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 oh, I would prefer it. I but feel it ain't gonna happen. Like like Braun uh, being being once again stiffed at Royal Rumble. Um, if it doesn't happen there, it will happen down the line. I still I don't know how I still see Braun in the IC title picture somehow. I hope not. I hope not because I think that upsets a very potentially really good match there. Um, um, but but here here's here's the thing. If we're going back to um uh, dual branded pay per views after WrestleMania, mm-hmm. we have too many titles for that sorg. You know what happens when we go back to dual brand pay per views. With with four or four hour pay per views, two two words, title unification. Oh no! Oh yes, would not be surprised. Would not be surprised at all. Right. So, um. Yeah. I I don't know, man. Um. So, I I hope not because I think I think they're still keeping the separate brands. They're still keeping the separate brands, but they're having dual branded pay per views. Right, have right. Titles. So I don't think the title unification plays but that, well with but, that. But then that means every match on a pay per view almost has to be a title match. Yes. Or we start. That's fi- not. That's not good. Or we start forgetting about uh, titles again. Or we start unifying them. A, 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 and and this, I think, is a question. This is a thing for I, I think the main show is this like you know what are we doing going back to this right. Um, I feel like we, you know, we cycle, <laughs> like like through this, like we've been oh, through yeah. this before. No, but it's it's the cycle. First, we go to dual branded pay per views, then we start getting rid of championships, then we combine the rosters again. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what what happens with it. So, and, and I, I I just don't feel like it's justified right now with the way things are going. But anyways, no, because there's too many people on the roster. No, absolutely. Like, where are you going to put all of them? Um, unless there's going to be like some other like mid card pay per view you do, I I don't know. Like like it's, it's another takeover two hundred five. Or they could zone. start, or they could start writing weekly stories and have normal title change. <laughs> it's just silly. Anyway, silly. Yeah. And then we did get Ronda Rousey tonight. I'm I, I was surprised. You're surprised. I was surprised. Really? I was surprised. Yes. Okay. I uh, I thought in no way she was going to be on Raw tonight. Okay. 
I thought there was no way she was going to be on Raw today, so I was pleasantly surprised she was. Um, I it, it seems way too obvious that we're going to a mixed tag match. Okay. What I would prefer is that we get an intergender match. That's what I'd prefer, but I don't think we're going to get that. I think if you were going to get it anywhere, you get it with this, this, uh, these Pairing. four people. Yeah, with these pairings, right? Yeah, because I think you kind of have to because Kurt can't do just a one-on-one with Triple H, I don't think. I also don't think you're going to see a wrestling classic in this. Well, that's this a is, fair point. This is the feature match, right? Yeah, th- this is the this is has become kind of a standard the uh the WrestleMania mixed tag match. Last year was Miz and Maurice mm-hmm. for Cena and Nikki. This year it's this tandem. Next year, who knows? Maybe Team Little Big will defend their titles against other people. Oh, I just had this horrible idea because this was um uh brought up in the chat room. Uh, what happens with Cena? Maybe Taker and Fastlane and stuff. Is Cena uh-huh. gonna insert himself in that five way match? <laughs> Of course he fucking is. He's John Cena. Yeah. Either that, either that, or he takes someone out of the five way match. Sorry, Baron Corbin. Yeah, if anybody, right? It's <laughs> gonna be Baron Corbin. It's gotta be Baron. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> uh, by the way, by the way. <laughs> speaking of John Cena, I see Marcus Mann is in the chat room. Um, the Marcus man is the, uh, uh, John, John Cena's, uh, number one fan, by the okay. way. Um, okay. we, we was recently, recently announced to become back to the wrestling mayhem show here in a couple weeks. And, Excellent. um, he, he, um, has been preparing by watching nothing but John Cena matches and a two out of three falls, um, Steiner match from, I think, Super Brawl 2000, he said. Uh, okay. so, so get that. Uh, let's see. Okay. Cena. So he, so he is planning on giving us a math lesson and not putting anyone over. Yeah, I yeah, I think that's okay. I think that's what he's talking about. What is that? Uh, Cena equals and goat. it's a emoticon goat. of an animal. Is that, that, that a goat? That's a goat. That's he's a goat. A goat? That's, yeah, he's the goat, greatest of all time. Sorry. Oh, he's a goat. There it is. There he yeah. is. Okay. Yeah. Either that or he thinks he is horny. I'm not positive. One it could be. This 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 it's could pro- be. It's probably it's, it's probably a very, goat. It, it's a very small emoticon over here. Like this is this yeah. li- literally this is how I'm doing the chat room right now. So. It's okay. I I got you, Sorg. I got the chat okay. room on lockdown. Good, good. He's got it in super bifocal mode, so you can see the goat. Alex, I hate you. <laughs> Alex just said I'm going back to Lucha Underground this weekend. So this Alex, is a, I hate you. The, and so, if you, if you spoil any of Lucha Underground for me, I will fly to wherever you are and gut you like a fish. Uh, that was corrected. Steiner versus Nash, two out of three falls. Super Bowl two thousand one. Guys, now you know what you're watching on the network tonight. Uh, oh, anyways, oh, no, <laughs> you couldn't pay me to watch that. So. <laughs> You could not pay me to watch that. That's Super Brawl 2001. That's but right before the death knell drops. It oh it is that is wow that is like one of <laughs> the last of the year. That's right before the death knell Oof. drops. I did go back at one point. I was like, I wonder what the pay per view right before our WCW I, went over under I was like. I still think we should have a watch party of the second to last Nitro. Yeah, I did that too because you were talking I, about I that. Want, I, want to watch I, want watch, I want us to do a watch party of some point of the second to last Nitro. Not the last Nitro because we all know what happened on the last Nitro. Yeah, yeah. We, I'm talking about yeah. the one before that yeah. when everyone has no idea what's going on. Yeah, and it's like <laughs> next week we're going to completely do this stuff. And it's like, mm, actually, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like it's weird to watch it and be like, man, they don't know. Man, they don't I, know. I, I think some of them knew. Yeah, because they, or well, yeah, because they they, they, they had the call with Bischoff about like the status of everything, and I think well, they yeah, had announced. There, there were rumors that Bischoff was going to be buying it. There were rumors right, right, that right, Jericho right. might have bought it. Anyways, anyways, sorry, yeah. sorry. Okay, let's let's get back to this. Um, yeah, one. Back to by the way, back by the way, everybody hates Dave Meltzer in the chat room, and. Of um, uh, Brandon I give said, those I give those chat room comments five stars. There you go. I give them six stars because they're our chat room. Uh, Marcus is saying, by the way, oh no, no I'm reading the wrong one. Brandon <laughs> said, did you did you guys see that uh, awesome flyby by Rollins? By the way, if nothing else, and I know it's not what it was last week, but I enjoyed the hell out of Rollins, Miz, Balor in general. Yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. It was great. Um, I still don't. 
Like, I could see a four-way match at Mania. Or, like, maybe we're getting our standard Mania Liar match for the IC title. That's all right. I think that's all like, right with like these. Like, you put Rollins, Miz, Finn, Elias, Braun all in a ladder match? Yeah, sign oh, me the fuck up you, for that. Yeah, yeah, I'm worried about getting too overloaded, but I, I could see them doing it. Well, no, you have to have a multi-man match, Sork. The Mania card's already filling mm-hmm. up fast, and we haven't even talked about SmackDown. Mike? Yeah. I want to talk about the women. All right. I want to. Let's, let's, let's talk about the I believe you put out there the gift from last night that was my favorite of all time for Elimination Chamber. Thank you. Long live the boss. Long live the boss. <laughs> Long it was live the boss. Scar and, uh, uh, and Mufasa. Mufasa from The Lion King when he pushes him <laughs> off and realizes what's going ha- going on. That was the boot to the face of Sha- Sasha the Daily. It was, it was basically it. So it glad because I'm watching it. this match and then they kick off with it, and I'm just like, oh wow, these guys are really getting along considering what happened last night. And then they don't. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it was weird. First, it was American Gladiators, and it turned into a Lion King. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, who's gonna face the bar? I believe he's saying at WrestleMania. I would I would imagine Ooh, uh, tag team turmoil match if they even get a title match. Whoever what on the pre-show maybe at this point. Oh yeah, uh, definitely the pre-show. If yeah. not, they'll both they'll both be in the Andre Bell Royal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now, yeah, see, that could be. Here's the one thing: John Cena is looking for a path to WrestleMania. All he has to do is declare himself as he's in the Andre Giant Memorial Battle Royal. It tracks. It absolutely tracks. Like he, I still he say. I still say, really, the reason... I'm sorry, if, if Fandango can declare himself for the Andre Giant Memorial Battle Royal, John Cena can do the same thing. The real reason John Cena is going to Tuesday nights is not to find his path on, on SmackDown, but to start cutting weight right now tonight so he can make 205 Live. <laughs> I, all right, damn it. Now I want to see uh, Drake Maverick interact with John Cena. Uh, just in general. I, w- I want to see that. Like, I want to see, like, in five and a half weeks, we have a slimmed down John Cena who looks like skinny Steve from the beginning of Captain America <laughs> walk up to Drake Maverick and say, hey, I need a path to WrestleMania. Can listen, you weigh me in? Can you insert me in the title match? Listen, John. <laughs> listen, John. Just do a reverse Steve Rogers, and uh, and you'll be okay. Tina says, "I'm I'm just saying. I never heard Scar's side of the story. Just saying. That's um, true. Yeah, that's yeah, true. That's right. Uh, mm-hmm. Alex is asking. Although, do we- when your name is Scar, you're probably not on the right side of history. <laughs> like, did you get the name Scar? Like, were you born did with you a Scar? It? Like... Or did you just grow into your name? <laughs> I, I'm just saying. I mean, uh, also, I think we get Demon Balor no matter what he does at Mania, right? Oh, yeah. We I think it's a missed Balor. opportunity if he doesn't. Um, yeah, we have to get Demon Balor at WrestleMania. I thought it was an okay Raw. Mm-hmm. It had points. Um, we had fun watching it. Larry was I, here hanging out. It definitely... It actually did some things, which I, you know me, I always like that. You like you because like when things are also, done. That's right. They also set the seed for what I think the Raw Women's Title match is going to be, which is Alexa versus Nia. Oh yeah. Oh wait, wait, Alexa versus Nia. Alexa versus Nia. Because you you think uh, you think Oscar's still going to roll uh, to uh, SmackDown? SmackDown. Yes. All right. Because <laughs> and do you want to know why I think Oscar's rolling to SmackDown? Hmm. And this is potential spoilers. I don't know. I don't know. Potential I, this spoilers. Is me, this is me spitballing. I think Bobby Roode is going to beat The Miz in the Mixed Match Challenge. Thus, Asuka will be pissed that Charlotte technically beat her. Hmm. Wait, we're gonna get a wait, wait. We're gonna get a WrestleMania match that's gonna grow from a mixed match challenge match. You bet your ass. How progressive of you, Mad Mike? Hey, I'm in my head. That makes the most sense in the world because why would Oscar choose to go to SmackDown when a win over Alexa Bliss is for us in Oscar's head pretty easily considered? Right. But if Team Robe Warriors team Oscar. That that's your setup right there. 
Does that, that's your setup. Does that also set you up in a title versus title of uh, Bobby Roode and The Miz? Because yes, please. Um, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't because we set up all our stuff tonight, right? Um, yeah, yeah. He says, uh, Travis says that's a great theory. Uh, anyway, Thank you. John is saying uh, Hardy versus Bray at the Hardy compound, maybe? I fucking wish. <laughs> There were I glimmers. I, I I wish that I wish that the the crowd had given this a chance last night because there was glimmers of kind of no, decent no, stuff sword, last sword, night. Sword, there weren't. No, no there weren't. Okay. No, the first two minutes were fine. Yes, when, when he disappeared. Yes, but then after that, it was just a Matt Hardy versus Bray Wyatt match again. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm. Sword, I love until, Angry Bray at the until crowd. we see until we see drones and piano playing wives and maybe. Bray Wyatt wearing cheesecloth on his face again. What like, if, I need to see something. What if JoJo's playing the piano this time? Oh, God. I don't, I don't know if we need to go down that route, but... You do something fun. You, I mean, we're going... You have a bayou... Yes. Tina, Tina, we need drones and a dilapidated boat. You are correct. Can we just give the Hardys their own show from the compound on WWE Network? No, we don't need that. We don't we need don't, that. No, no, but, no, no, because Impact did a whole episode from the Hardy Compound, and it was hit and miss. Yeah. But, but bluntly. But you know what we do need, Sorg? Hmm. You know what we do need? We need um, Matt to throw Bray into the Lake of Regeneration, <laughs> and then he comes out as Husky Harris wearing a Nexus shirt. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. We are the one. So we are. Like, and Wade Bear comes out and is like, I've got some bad news. Like, I, I just, I kind of want the Nexus back. <laughs> but, I just, but no, I saw, I think I saw a tweet from Bobby earlier this week that he was going to buy a $5 Nexus shirt. And I'm like, that's not a bad idea. Wait, wait, are they selling Nexus shirts? I think so, yeah. Oh, wow. I think they're on clearance. Why do they still have them? It's been years. I mean, it's not like are people just man. If I just see like a next, you know, you do see Nexus shirts actually at indie shows. Now I think about well, it. Well, I mean, they also have retro shirts now. Nexus can That's technically true. be considered retro. That is true. That is true. I still have the uh, Nexus armband in the in the old uh, office. We only have two, one original Nexus member left on the roster. Sore. Do we? He's Slater. He's Slater. He's Slater. Uh, Daniel Bryan was technically an original Nexus me- member. No, he wasn't. He was extra day from the group. Uh, because he took out Justin Roberts. Uh, Justin Roberts isn't even in WWE anymore. Yep, 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 yep. I, I, I had the idea of I, what maybe what, what needs to happen leading into WrestleMania is we get Brother Nero. Yes. Follow me. Okay. Are you with me? Okay. okay. Are you yes. with me? And yes. Poor Bray's all by himself. The Bludgeon Brothers aren't going to come back to him. They've had a wardrobe change um, and new new masks. Uh-huh. I think Bray enlists the help of... Are you ready for this? Don't say Brother Dallas. Brother Bo. Uh, no, no, no. Bo's doing too many good things with the Miserage. Brother Bo. I knew you'd come. Symmetry. No, no, Bo, Bo's doing too many good things with the Misturage. This is true. This is true. No, not Curtis. And Paul, I think I think Jeff is injured for a while. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Yeah, I don't think I he's didn't know his status. Yeah, that's okay. that's okay. That's okay. Then maybe I, I don't think I don't think he's eligible for Mayhem Mania. Fine. Then, he, for, then for his that. ultimate trump card because oh. we've heard the rumors. Oh, we've heard oh, we've heard the rumors, but Mike, brother, no. La- brother Lashley. No. Sorg, I just realized what Braun's going to do at WrestleMania. Hmm. Samoa Joe. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'd be okay with that too. He's supposed to be right. Yeah, he's supposed uh, to be unless that. unless we're just doing like a a multi man IC title match, in which case throw Joe in there too. Or Braun wins the Andre the Giant Memorial. I I don't know. I I hope it doesn't Braun, end up just that. I think it's a waste. On. The only way Braun winning the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal is okay with me is if he literally is the last one to get to the ring he lifts the entire ring up and flips everyone out wrestlemania is over guys go home <laughs> like the the world's largest table flip yeah exactly exactly <laughs> 
We just uh, Booker D's going to shucky ducky for half an hour while we rebuild a ring. Don't worry about it, guys. Uh, anyways, fucking Booker, fucking Booker T. Booker and Corey Graves right now, but that's for oh, another thing. Uh, the pictures on Booker's uh, social media I posted in the Wrestling Mayhem Show group. Matt, Matt, Mike, yeah, tell me how much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? Sorg, you're gonna be shocked by this. I'll say two hours. Whoa! I'll say two hours. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say two hours. I'm gonna say two hours. I, I thought thought it was a good bra. I thought we did a lot of stuff tonight. I was really excited by it. Um, the part of the six woman tag when Bailey just dropped down and left Sasha high and dry, that was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, how long is WrestleMania this year? Because are are we getting four matches with women in it? Because I can see it. Because I can see it. Two title matches, Bailey versus Sasha and the mixed tag. I love to see Yeah, I'd like to see it too. Consider, because I mean I mean, consider again, discussion for tomorrow, but consider how much of Elimination Chamber was women focused. Oh yeah. They were the best part of the pay per view. You had but you had three segments on a pay per view, not the pre show, that were dedicated to women. Mm-hmm. Well, one of them was partially dedicated to the McMahons. Still. Still. She's part of the Roman's Revolution. She started it, damn it. If you ask no, her. No, she didn't. No, no, she didn't. No, but she still. she was actually almost the one that hindered it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I I don't know if you would classify this as a Bailey heel turn. She's just got some issues. Oh no, with her no, it's definitely not a heel turn. She came in to save Asuka. True, 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 true. She came in to save Asuka, and the answers even made a point to say that. Like, oh, very interesting. Bailey would come in to save Asuka, but not Sasha. But uh, I believe, um, oh, someone, um, New Age Amazon on uh, on Twitter posted that uh, Sasha put up a, um, oh, no, Bailey put up an image from Elimination Chamber on Instagram. And one of the comments you see is, Sasha begs WWE, you still haven't returned my calls. <laughs> That's great. That's great. So, so good. Somebody's learned from the Trump at Twitter account. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, that's a whole other discussion, too. I think we need to bring that up on the show tomorrow. Remind me to talk about Johnny Gargano on the show tomorrow, okay? Uh, you do not have to remind me of talking about Johnny Bananas, the Bees, Knees, the Cats, Pajamas, and the whole shebang. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, And perhaps Mrs. Bees, Knees. Is she Mrs. Bees, Knees? Uh, she is Mrs. Wrestling. I'm, I'm sad we never had a chance to talk with her before she got signed, because I think she would have been delightful. Uh, <laughs> but anyways... Um, I'm going to go two and a half. Um, I, and I say watchable. I'm not saying I was excited about a lot tonight, um, but it was raw. And it was there was they say a lot happening and a lot of it was interesting. And normally, I I feel like I would not I, like I usually have a problem with something like why is Miz getting kind of screwed over right now, right? Uh, well, Miz always gets screwed over. That's his character. That's now. the point. That's the point, right? Is now yeah. he can say, well, this wasn't fair, and now there's this. What do you mean is this? This isn't fair. This isn't fair. I want my daddy. Uh, so, uh, no, but, but the, there was a good match around all that. So I, I, yeah, I was, cause, cause you know me, normally I would frown on a raw that has two matches with the same guy in it, but mm-hmm. seeing as that guy is the Miz and can turn shit into salad, like what? I don't know. I don't he, know about your metaphors he, tonight. Right, fine. He turns shit into, into salad, lemonade. lemons into lemonade. How about okay, that? Yeah. Yeah, well, let's, let's just stick with the safe ones on this, okay? Okay, all right, all that's right. fine. I just, no, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do that. Um, I want to see if there's any responses uh, from people. I know I had asked people what they learned over on the uh, Facebook group. Uh, but anyways. Uh, and, and Brandon, we know they haven't announced the Battle Royal yet, but there's going to be a Battle Royal. It's kind of, yeah, it, it's kind of a, a fair. It's become a tradition because it, it used to be a huge multi-man. There, there was a Battle Royal before the Andre the Giant gimmick got thrown into it regardless. Like, it was just always on the pre-show so everyone could be on the pre-show. But now they just added a stipulation to it where you get a big trophy. It's a nice trophy, too. Yeah. So. Uh, but anyways, Mad Mike, Mad Mike 483 on the Twitters. 
Yes, indeed. And uh, mm-hmm. follow me. I tweet about wrestling sometimes. We will have um, the Wrestling Mayhem Show tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern Time live. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Facebook Live on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page. We will have the Beast Man here in studio. It's going to be a lot of fun having him. Oh, I need to respond to his message. He was asking for details. I just remembered that popped up during Raw. But anyways, uh, no, it'll be a lot of fun. We got a lot of fun guests coming up. We got Todd DeFazio from the Double D Show on the India Radio uh, podcast of the year, Pittsburgh Podcast of the Year, apparently, uh, from the City Paper, as well as uh, Marcus Mann just announced Farnsworth coming back to the studio. I'm basically booking people that I really want to know what they'll do with Mayhem Mania in the next few weeks. And and hopefully I will be hearing back from um, our buddies at Lucha Underground. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Always, always great to have them. They make a point to come on the show. So, oh, uh, yeah. When, and then- even if, even if, um, sorry, I'm just gonna throw this out there now. Even if the Joseph can't come on for the main show, whenever we do talk to him, he gets an honorary move in Mayhem Mania. Oh, yeah, so, it's certainly so true. saith Mad Mike. So saith Mad Mike. That's right, that's right. Yes. And, uh, so thank you, uh, everybody join us here. And also, we have, uh, from last week, we had who did I post last week? Um, we had Lawless and Order. That joined us, um, um, Officer Dan Murphy, and uh, you mean Lawless in order? Uh, that's what I think I said. Lawless in order. Lawless. Lawless in order. I said it. Okay. Uh, okay. And the gavel, David Lawless, joined us. It was a lot. It was a lot of fun having those guys on. This week we're going to have Effie. Have you heard of Effie, Mad Mike? Um, I've heard tale of Effie. You've heard tale of Effie? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Uh, I, I would say um, type in B Effie B E. Mm-hmm effy.com don't mm-hmm. do it in public yep i mean yeah. it's not it's not x-rated but it's definitely suggestive we'll just say that um no 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 actually there's some some things you probably shouldn't open in a library church now i think about it uh, but anyways um but no it, i had a great conversation with him that's going to be coming up with indie mayhem show you can see the raw feed over at the indie wrestling dot us facebook page a lot of great things happening over at indie wrestling dot us including the brand new show from rwa fury 2018 just went up there with our friends of the show uh ron hunt the rev involved and so much for so much more Thank you, Mad Mike. Thank you, everybody in the audience here, including Tina, including Brandon, Travis, John, uh, and everybody else uh, chatting through the night. Of Alex, course, wheels. Alex, and and no, not wheels. Oh, okay, all right, fine. Fuck no, you, wheels. Not wheels. Not wheels. No. 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 I saw you traffic. Saturday, wheels. Not wheels. I'm pushing him into traffic. Sword. I threatened to push him off the stage uh, several times during the show. <laughs> You threatened the Zack Ryder him. Yes, I did. Oh, I should have just quoted that. No, he played Nickelback like three times before the show. And I was like, oh, and, I, and I told him, if I hear wow. one more Nickelback so- a song, my video team's going to walk. Well, look at this photograph. You motherfucker. Yeah. Anyways, we'll see you guys next time. Keep it raw.